check in my hotel again it's some um, it's in the fourth floor not the ground floor again and yeah i did sleep for a few hours and now the sun has set so first i need to go somewhere i haven't been before returning back tomorrow to one of the most important things i think I'm going to french concession you see dandy is taking the line 10 from east nanjing road station again looks like i'm in this place already see again the french concession i thought it's there's somewhere with something which which is more crowded but it's not that crowded it's a bit I mean less people here I mean it's less crowded here but let's try to explore this place Now uh, we having dinner again at Nanjing Road. Most likely it's the Sushi Express again, which I can afford and which tastes good. So the French concession there was supposed to be a good place, but maybe on daytimes because the lighting is bad and restaurants there are expensive. So that's why I reverse to Nanjing Road again. At Naji Road, more lively and more food options. Please for dinner. Hopefully, I'm not going to be dragged into the Sushi Express again. that I have I'm having the very strict press again and I already created for three and I'm ordering more but maybe after this I might stop by some stores to buy some snacks as this is my last night in Shanghai barbecue lamb the snack here around Nanjing Road and I might walk towards the bun for ending my trip as tomorrow I'll be leaving China so I need to enjoy my last night here So finally I'm back in my hotel, after I visited the barn, I met some lady who can speak English and she's okay for me to take, uh, for her to take pictures of me then and then suddenly she took me to a restaurant and we drink to the time to pay the bill and turn out that I supposed to pay for myself though but she actually said she doesn't have any money she only have this money and she wasted her money to buy some lipstick I also don't have enough money I have I need to go to the ATM but turn out that she can pay with the ATM card on her phone I'm not sure after I say and then she said where are you going and then I 
say I'm going back to one hotel and then I need to rush back to one hotel now. So this is the type of scam that used to happen in Shanghai. So please be careful there yeah? and that's how my last day in Shanghai, a tragic one. But thank you for watching. I had a great trip most of the time, especially the train rides in China. It's better than I expected, not like before that I was lost at Guangzhou railway station because I used an unpopular train and all in Chinese but now even though it still has many Chinese characters but I know how to manage to get inside the train and the crew they were there, uh, there were very nice and last but always I can take a picture with my favorite diesel locomotive the Dongfeng 11G and also ride with the train halt by that loco so that was it was very unexpected the first time and I get more than I expect.